it took us a 30 minute ride on Jeepney to experience the distinct local feels of artistry and nature. Lying on the mountains of Tuba Benguet, the Benka Museum provides habitat for numerous living things, such as this dog, and this funky goat. Cute, isn't it? And a whole ecosystem of the Cordilleran Mountains, like this bonsai, these plants. Wait, what? How did it get there? For 100 pesos on a regular basis and 80 pesos for students and senior citizens, be prepared to be in awe inside. The museum houses Cabrera's own works, as well as those of acknowledged Filipino masters and rising contemporary artists. The museum commands a breathtaking view of the adjacent garden, farm, hill and mini forest, the surrounding mountains, and the South China Sea in the distant west. The farm and garden below the museum showcase organic farm produce and the typical indigenous architecture of the Cordillera. The hill and mini forest across, which features an echo trail, is also the source of fresh spring water used in the museum and farm. The artist, assisted by native workers, grows seasonal vegetables and herbs including taros or locally known as gabi or aba. Low in saturated fat, sodium and cholesterol, high in dietary fiber, vitamin E, vitamin B6, potassium and manganese, the leaves stems and corms are all consumed and form part of the local cuisine such as lying in Sinegal. Aside from the taro, small animals can be seen wandering around this aquatic farm such as this water strider, which is an insect notable for walking on water, as well as featured on the Jackie Chan film The Tuxedo. Freshwater snails also inhabit the swampy farm. Several different freshwater snail species are eaten in nation cuisines. Can you tell me which animal is present in the picture? This reptile is known in Filipino as bubuli and is generally named as skinks. Skinks are carnivorous and in particular insectivorous. Mosses are small flowerless plants that usually grow in dense green clumps or mats in damp or shady locations such as on this rock. Some species of moss are mined to be used in fuel making while some are used for whiskey production. Unfortunately, we cannot access some parts of the Benkab farm and garden, so let's proceed to this miniature pond. This pond features some ecosystem in itself. One organism clearly abundant is algae. The various sorts of algae play significant roles in aquatic ecology. Microscopic forms that live suspended in the water column provide the food base for most marine and food chains. In very high densities, this algae may discolor the water and not compete or poison other life forms. We can also see ducks floating around. The white one dives inside to get food. Most male ducks are silent and very few ducks actually quack. Instead, their calls may include squeaks, grunts, groans, chirps, whistles, brays, and growls. A common urban legend claims that duck quacks do not echo. However, this has been shown to be false. 
This myth was first debunked by the Acoustics Research Center at the University of Salford in 2003 as a part of the British Association's Festival of Science. It was also debunked in one of the earlier episodes of the popular Discovery Channel television show, Mythbusters. This ornamental plant is called bromeliad. Bromeliads actually produce an array of smaller flowers on spikes and in rosette shapes, one famous kind and the only edible species, a pineapple. Let's now proceed to the other side of Bencab fields. Since there are close and inaccessible part of the Bencab farm at the moment, we cannot see the aviary housing peacocks and various birds, and a veritable animal farm with ducks, geese, turkeys, and other local livestock. Hence, we indulge ourselves with plants, plants, and definitely more plants. One of the famous Filipino crops is a Chinese cabbage commonly known as pechay. No, not pechay, but pechay. Pechay is known as pak choy in China and bok choy in US, which is then popularized by the character bong choy, a punching pechay in Plants vs. Zombies 2. On the other hand, tomatoes are rich in lycopene, an antioxidant that is good for the heart and effective against certain cancers. Cooked tomatoes are actually better for you than raw ones, as more beneficial chemicals are released. Tomatoes are also packed with vitamins A, C, calcium, and potassium. <laughs> Cordylin forticosa is an evergreen flowering plant that comes in various names such as cabbage palm, good luck plant, palm lily, tea plant, and many more local names. It comes in green or reddish or purple foliage. In ancient Hawaii, the plant was thought to have great spiritual power. Only kahuna, high priests, and ali'i, chiefs, are able to wear leaves around their necks during certain ritual activities. Most plants in Ben Cab Garden are home to commensalism and mutualism. Examples are this moth and the calabash tree, and yellow cosmos with bees and wasps. One plant that Ben Cab Farm is known for is the coffee tree. Overroasted coffee beans are very flammable during the roasting process. Raw coffee beans soaked in water and spices are chewed like candy in many parts of Africa. Regular coffee drinkers have about one-third less asthma symptoms than those non-coffee drinkers, so says a Harvard researcher who studied 20,000 people. Because of coffee tree's aroma, insects lay their eggs under coffee tree's leaves. Also, ladybug's favorite haven are the coffee tree leaves. And of course, this tour won't be complete without a Benguet pine tree. The good quality resin of this tree was used during the Spanish colonial period for the production of turpentine. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms with the non-living components of their environment such as air, water, rocks, and soil interacting as a system. The Bencab farm is home to a vast array of ecosystems that one should visit. The Bencab Museum is committed to the promotion of the arts and the preservation of conservation, and protection of the environment, as well as the culture and traditions of the Cordilleras, as an expression of the artist's gratitude to the country that nurtured and inspired an artistic career that continues to grow, mature, and fascinate.